Okay, so um, in the other video, I showed you how to set the current. Let me just step through that again. When it's on like this, you just adjust the voltage by turning the knob. When you press it for three seconds, you adjust the current. And you just leave it for two seconds to go back to normal mode. That's the on-off button. Simple enough. And here's the advanced advanced functions if you press this button and hold it for five seconds so there's the uh, the lowest voltage um, input voltage that that you want to allow for and the other one is the maximum output voltage that you want to allow for it can't adjust higher than that um, that's the maximum current you ever want to adjust for. This is not the real current limit. The other, the real current limit you set from the front panel. This is just the maximum that you can set it to. That's the maximum output power. Again, you can limit it here. Um, for to it, its default is 82 watts, I think, and 82 watts, and it can't go higher than that. Then you can, it's got some very nice features where you can set um, the maximum charge that can flow out of it or the maximum power consumption of the load. So to set something like that, this is the amp hours. So in case you charge a battery, you press the on button here to enable that. And then you set the maximum. So let's say I'm charging a one amp hour battery and I want to make the power supply switch off after one amp hour uh, of charge float into the battery then i'm simply adjusting this to one amp hour and um and i press the button and hold it on for five seconds and then it will charge the battery up to that level and then stop so but if i give it a short press the next one is the watt hours so the maximum amount of energy and Short press again. Now I can even set the run time. Um, so if I want to, if I want my power supply to run for an hour and then stop automatically, I just again switch, press the on button, and there it's currently set to one hour. And if I reduce that, so that, there it is, one hour. It will run for one hour and then switch off. And here you can set, if you power up your power supply, if it should by default switch on or off. So, uh, sorry, other way around. First you set if it should function by, as a voltage source or a current source. So... Sometimes some batteries uh, require a constant current to, uh, to charge, so then you can set it to constant current mode. For my purposes, I'll leave it to voltage mode. And there I set whether it's on by default or off by default. So it's safer uh, to have it off, but sometimes you want it on by default. And then if I press that again, okay, so now I want to exit the setting, so I just press and hold this button for five seconds and I'm back back to the front panel. 